So I'm back again and Rangers lost 1-0 to Kilmarnock at Ibrox and the score could have been easily what Kilmarnock wanted at Rangers nil because we looked as if we were going to create nothing the whole game. And I think this has kind of stamped on Murty's opportunity to become the permanent manager. And it's sad because he's a likeable guy, but this... You cannot keep forgiving your abuser. I mean, it's a bit of a, a, an extravagant parallel, I know, but... When it comes to matches like this, the matches that we should really be winning, I mean, no offence to the other team, but that's how Rangers see them. These are the games that we really should be winning. We don't win them, and you, you have to wonder how his chances must be affected by this. Anyway, uh, not going to recap it because you've all seen it, I'm sure. Otherwise, why are you watching this? Uh, and sorry, I spoiled the result. Um... We were flat and there was a, a problem, a problem obvious to everyone I think that was watching the game It was that when we were passing, we passed the ball and then stayed still. That made us have to pass side to side and whenever we passed forward nobody was moving so come on and nicked the ball from us and did whatever they wanted with it. Usually for a prolonged period of time so we had to watch come on and play rather than Rangers. Um, not too much fun to watch but... It's uh, the league is still a matter. We have to finish above Aberdeen. I know that, but it would have been even more disappointing a loss had we beaten Celtic. So uh, yeah, um, Jamie Murphy looked as if he was doing stuff at the beginning of the game, and every time he got the ball, he seemed like he could do something. It was just I wouldn't necessarily say his fault. It was just that nobody was doing anything. Nobody in the game was doing anything. The decision to drop Morelos, I felt kind of cost us, but with how he, he came on at the end of the game and kind of played like everybody else, I don't know if that was just, he came on too late to make any impact. You know, it sounds weird, he came on like the 60th minute or something, but the game was kind of, the the way the game was going was set in stone by that point, and you need a really, really good player to change it. Um, Chris Boyd, of course, got the goal, congratulations to him. Uh, brilliant play by Kilmarnock I mean you have to admit when a team plays better than you and that was what Kilmarnock clearly did they defended so much better than us and they attacked so much better than us they looked as if they had a purpose to their play and we were reacting to what they were doing Greg Dockery was uh, he was playing well I thought at least he was trying he looked gutted at the end of the game I kind of felt sorry for him although I was feeling the same it was, it was odd um, yeah I wish we could change the, the home form thing at Ibrooks and maybe it's a different manager that will need to do it. Sadly, I don't have the knowledge to to tell you who the manager is going to be or who I think it should be because I don't know who's interested in all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I honestly do think that's Graham Murty's, unless something amazing happens, I think Graham Murty's chances have been kind of put on the ropes by that one. So uh, yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the next game. Bye.